Greetings to all of my friends that are listening to the broadcast today. I'm so glad that you've tuned in. I hope that some of the words that I say to you will be a blessing to you. I want to talk to you today from Revelations chapter 3. And mentioned in that chapter is the church of Laodicea. There is seven churches that was mentioned in here in the book of Revelation. And God talks specifically about their needs. He says about the Laodicean church, they are rich and increase in good and have need of nothing. And he encourages them to buy of gold tried in the fire. God always gives us a chance. And then he goes on down to say a little bit further the Lord. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hear my voice, I will come in and, and sup with him and I, he will be with me. You know, that's an interesting scripture there. God has an open door for all of us. It makes no difference what you have done in this life. If you have sinned and come short of the glory of God, there's grace and there's mercy. And there's also forgiveness for sin if you'll just repent of your sins. We don't hear much about repentance today, but repentance is absolutely uh, imperative. If you're going to reach the kingdom of God, God will bless you. He stands at the door and he's knocking right today. He's knocking on your door and he's saying, can I come in and can will you let the Holy Spirit uh, come in and abide in you and dwell in you and I will come in and have fellowship with you. And friends, I want to tell you, we're living in those last days when it seems like uh, everything is going upside down nowadays. Uh, we still have to do the same things we always do. It makes no difference whether we're in a younger generation or an older generation. It says that God is faithful and he does everything, but we have to come to him. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. In 1 John 1 and 9, that's a very faithful promise that if you'll confess your sins to God, he will come in and deal with you and minister to you in a great way. And then he goes on to say, to him that overcometh to him, I will let him sit with me on my throne, even and overcome. You know, it's going to be great for all Christians that will get to sit with God on his throne. If we will be an overcomer, that's a big word in verse 21. We have got to be overcomer in this world system. There's a lot in this world that I could talk about. It goes on a list as bad about all the things that are going on today. But you got to be an overcomer. Get down on your hands and knees and face and ask God to come into your heart. And then he goes on to say, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And that's what the Spirit of God is saying to us today in the churches. Get our hearts right with God. And I thank you for listening to the broadcast and may God richly bless you.